Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, the festival. In the last episode, we introduced some dickhead named Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing up, trying to show up on my turf. But we're going to show him who's boss. So that today, we're going to go back. Everyone apparently likes him, besides me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're making fun of my poems and shit. But yeah, so now we're going to go back and do some day two. So and do more days and shit. Let's see what happens. Ah, Zero. Hey, Sayori. It's nice to see you here on time. I say this in a teasing way, but after this weekend, it really is good to see her waking up on time by herself. Of course, silly. I can't be late to school anymore. That's the spirit. Sayori and I walked to school together, talking all the way. The day flies by as I spend most of my time anticipating the club meeting. It's weird, but having Wallace here really fires me up, and not necessarily in a bad way. Yeah, because I'm gonna make up the best poem. Fuck him! He's a rival now. He's like a rival in Pokemon. It's like a little extra push for me to try and write better poetry. Before long, I'm already standing outside the club room after school. As I walk in, Monica and Wallace are in the middle of a conversation. I did what you asked. I know, and I'm grateful, but you're not done yet. Wallace sighs. I just wish... Monica turns towards me. Hi, Zero. Welcome back. Of course. You know, I would never miss this club. What the hell were you two talking about? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I did what you asked. What the fuck are they... Well, you're not done yet. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> I'm suspicious mm. now. <laughs> I was considering they're not mentioning it anymore. <laughs> you're always dependable, Zero. Aren't you? What do you mean dependable? He's five minutes late. I checked my watch. I guess I was late. <laughs> Natsuki, don't be rude. Besides, this is the first day you've been here on time, Natsuki. I know, I, I just... Don't worry, I was the one who held up the club anyways. Don't worry about it, Zero. We actually have a few minutes before we need to start with poems. The group dissolves, and everyone going off to do different activities. Well then, in that case, do you want to continue reading, Natsuki? Ah, uh, let's go. Now, to read some more... <laughs> m good manga. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Zero. Natsuki, weren't we supposed to start reading that series you were talking about today? No, Wallace, you're not! Now get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Zero, but it's not like I can only read with you. Yes, you can! Wallace, go read with Yuri! <laughs> you don't have to it's read- It's funny because- Because it depends on who you pick. When I picked Yuri for mine, so he was fucking around with Yuri. Are you trying to tell me this man is trying to steal my girl? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Get him out! <laughs> Wallace flashing an innocent yet snarky smile as he walks over Nazi. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Contrary to her previous statement, Nazi glances back at me with a remorseful expression on her face. Oh, she's sad! She doesn't oh. want to do it! <laughs> Wallace, what did you do? He's got blackmail. <laughs> I can't just let Wallace. I can't just let Wallace push me around like that. There's nothing I can do. So instead of spending time, some extra time with the girl I like, I put my head down on my desk and wait until the club starts reading poems. That's an oof. Oh. That's a big sad. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone. Monica's <laughs> voice jolts me out of my trance. It's time to share our poems. I get up and walk over to where the others are standing. Time to see what's in store for today. Okay, you know what? I didn't get to talk to Natsuki, so you know what? We're going, Natsuki. Listen, I'm sorry that I had to bail on you today. I'm still really looking forward to reading the next issue with you. Well, there's always tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we can do something tomorrow. Yeah, well, we better do something tomorrow. Wallace, you go fucking, you go be <laughs> friends with Yuri over there. You guys both really like to be critical with poetry. <laughs> you guys will talk about how much you both dislike my poems. <laughs> but I won't make you any promises. Maybe. Natsuki has always been eager to spend time with me. What did Wallace do to her? He did something. See, that's what I'm saying. He did something, man. <laughs> anyway, do you have any thoughts on my poem? It's good, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you're getting a lot better, but I'm not going to praise you for getting on par with the rest of us. 
I'll take it. That was really nice, especially coming from you. That wasn't meant to be a compliment. But I took it that way, and now you can't take it back. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Here's my poem. Ah, oh, so I would. <laughs> Ice cream. Cold as a winter morning dream, so sweet that it must seem to be Ambrosa from heaven, from heaven above. Ice cream, it's you I love. Who needs human company when you can always console me? Surely I'll find myself at the bottom of this court. Oh, I know what this means. It's like when people break up and they just eat ice cream. <laughs> people just... <laughs> you must really like ice cream. <laughs> what? <laughs> ice cream. I mean, you wrote a whole poem about it. <laughs> 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 Is there something wrong with that? No, I just thought it was... I will say cute, but I managed to stop myself. Relatable? <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. I try. <laughs> thanks for sharing. You too. We're going with Say. We're leaving him last. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Sayori. It's really good. You really are improving, Zero. To be fair, <laughs> I've only gone from bad to slightly better. Don't say that. Ever since you joined this club, you've been a great writer. You're probably even better than me. I highly doubt that, but let's see your poem for today. My shadow. Early morning, I wake from my slumber. I rub my eyes. I see it. The shadow. The shadow never leaves my side. Not really. I step out into the sunshine. In the light of the morning, the shadow is a dim outline. But it's no, but it's no, less, re but it's no less real. When I'm with my friends, I forget to look behind me. I forget about my shadow. But eventually, I look back. My shadow never leaves my side. My constant companion. The shadow stays by me, through thick and thin. Even if I went to want to be alone, my shadow is always there for me. An old friend. That's depressing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are wrong. This is your best one yet. <laughs> Thanks. I wrote this one for you. She gives me a playful wink to show me that she's just joking, but doesn't stop me from blushing. <laughs> no, but really. It's really good. Well, I took some inspiration from your life. Sometimes things follow you around, whether or not you want them to. So he looks at me, and I can instantly pick up on what she's referring to. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> well, I need to finish reading everyone else's poems, but thanks for sharing! Same to you. Oof. <laughs> Go to Monica. <laughs> wow, this is really good. When you first joined the club, I was concerned that you would have had trouble finding your style. But you've developed it well, and it really shows in this poem. Thanks, but it still needs a lot of refining before it can be half as good as yours. Of course. But everybody's style is a work in progress. If you just keep on writing, you'll eventually be as good, if not better, than me. Even though you might not realize it, your brain creates patterns every time you write a new poem. And every time you write the pattern become and every time you write, the pattern becomes more refined. So just keep it up. I guess that was my writing tip of the day. <laughs> Would you like to read mine now? Monica hands me a pristine sheet of loose leaf paper bearing her poem. The abyss. Oh god. I stand on the edge of a great void, a singularity of darkness, true nothingness. I feel it call, to call me, staring into the abyss. It gazes upon my soul, whispering into my ear, croning a melody of emptiness, of relief. I feel myself fade away, drifting away as I, as I mingle with oblivion. I am no more. No. I force the void to my will. It squirms in my grasp, writhing. I picture a window, respondent rays upon my face. I had to figure that out. I, had to figure that out. I think it's resplendent or respondent. I'll say resplendent, I think. I think it's an L. <laughs> yeah, that's an L. My mind. This shall be my canvas. From nothing, I'll make my reality. I stand on the edge of a meadow. Oh, does that say the sun? Sun, sun beams over my face, wash over my face. This will be my paradise. Okay, wait. Um, this. Is it referencing how after the world got deleted, she made another one? She made a reality out of it? Um... Because look, it says that she feels herself fade away, drifting away as I mingle with oblivion. I am no more. No, I force the void to my will. And then it says, I shape the void into my mind. This shall be my canvas. I will make my reality. It's like a pretty It might sure... be... It could be that, or it could be her, like... Like, not giving in to the- to, like, her the, being the controlled or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Potentially. 
I don't know, I feel like it might have to do with... Because, I mean, this game, it might have to do with how this mod is... How this mod's happening. So, technically, it takes place after the game. It's like, the game deleted itself. But she was like... And while the game was deleted, she sat there in the void and then was like... No, I'm gonna make something else out of this. Hmm. And then now she made this. I, mean, I don't know, this is my theory. It could be yours, too. It could be that her talking about how the script doesn't bind her. Wow, that was... Really good. I liked how you told a story with such passion in it. It really makes the poem come to life. Yeah, just describing something in a few different ways can make it feel much more alive. Wow, see, I never even thought of doing that. I wish I could write like that, but I just can't compete with you. Don't be silly, Zero. As I said before, if you practice enough, you can become as good as me. Well, thanks for the compliments. <laughs> Anytime. Anyways, thanks for sharing. You too. <laughs> Yuri. I like Yuri more than him. <laughs> oh god, that's 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 saying. At least something. Yuri isn't a dick. <laughs> He's just pretentious <laughs> sometimes. What do you think? It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it just feels very one dimensional. This has so much potential for death, but there isn't much there. Oh, I thought I'd put in put in a message. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have assumed you didn't. Well, if you didn't get it, now there's probably one either. I'd take it as constructive criticism. Ah, uh, good. Would you like to read my poem now? Of course. Oh god, no, I don't want to read it. <laughs> you gotta try. I can't. I don't try. know what this says. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not reading this. I am putting this. Why not? I close my eyes. <laughs> Empty of stains? <laughs> Empty of stains. Stems. Stars. Stars. There. Stars. It was on the screen long enough for people to read it if they want to. There's the whole poem right there. <sighs> Stop hurting at me! <laughs> I don't want to sound like a freaking ninth grader again. Not ninth grader, fucking nine year old. <laughs> that was really good. I love the way you personified the stars. I know, I think about it sometimes. What if the stars really hold the dreams we had when we were younger? People these days seem to forget about their dreams in favor of conforming to society. What if the reason we never achieved them is because we never take that second to look to the stars? I think that if people would make it to take a moment to do that each night, they'd realize they're all just little tiny specks in an infinite universe. Maybe then people would stop worrying so much about the little things and pursue what they truly desire. Wow, I really thought about this a lot. Uh, I guess I have. Well, I think that's really interesting. I just have to try it sometime. Thank you, Zero. It's nice to know someone gets me. And thank you for reading my poem. You're welcome, Yuri. That was actually a nice thing to say, Yuri. That was interesting about the star, though. Also, oh god. <laughs> here's, here's the Sonic OC himself. <laughs> Make him sound like Sonic. How do I put this? What? It's... I can feel the rage being to bubble up inside of me again. It's pretty much the same poem as yesterday. <laughs> Are you serious? My poem is... Wallace interrupts me. Look, maybe you should just read mine first. He extends his hand with it just holding a neat looking piece of paper. I snatch it out of his grasp. Standing in the rain. Standing in the rain, waiting outside for you. Sky getting dark, clothes drenched. Patiently waiting, hoping the door will swing open and release you. But you never answer. Lights on, present yet absent. Oblivious to your surroundings, oblivious to me. So I was never there, but sometimes I just imagine myself standing in the rain. Someone's ignoring him? Uh, you want someone to notice I him. I don't know if his poems are like... Has something to do with what he's feeling. I think they're just kind of. Well, I mean, there. I'm, I'm not saying. I don't say. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, a lot of these. A lot. It seems like everyone's poems is how they're feeling. Yeah. Or about them. Maybe. Maybe seems it could like, be. Because it says. Oblivious I mean, I remember to, what happens. Because it says oblivious to your surroundings. So you do or you don't. I do. It says oblivious to your surroundings. Oblivious to me. Someone's ignoring him. You know, or like he says, hoping the door will swing open and release you, but you never answer. So he wants someone <laughs> to notice him. Hmm. Is it Natsuki? <laughs> Better back the fuck up! What did you think? I... 
I still don't get what's wrong with my poem. <laughs> it's literally almost <laughs> the same thing as what you wrote yesterday. This time you just put some different words. It's almost like you have some se some set bank of them that you just choose from. Hey, shut up! That's my style! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's cut the bullshit. I know what you're doing here, okay? I'm not stupid. <laughs> what? I see right through you, Zero. I know what's going on. What's going on, then? You're a teenage boy who is terrible at writing and has no interest in anything besides anime. You join a literature club that just happens to be full of attractive girls. You're a protagonist of a visual novel. <laughs> That's the only explanation. Who do you think you're fooling? Excuse me? It's pretty obvious you're here because you have a crush on Natsuki. I'll have you know I'm only here because Sayori wanted me to join, first of all. <laughs> That's the real reason I'm here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki didn't did get me to join. I joined because someone wanted me here. Isn't she a little too young for you, though? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> well, I'm glancing over at Natsuki, who's standing near the window talking to Monica. I can see what you like about her, though. What the hell does this guy know about Natsuki and my relationship? Exactly! What do you mean you can see what I like about her? I'm about to throw some hands! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like calling you. He's like being an asshole. Yo, yo, like, hold no me reason. back! <laughs> She's at that height where you're just tall enough to tower over her, but not too tall that's unreasonable. And she has that personality where despite all the mean things she says, you know she's really just as attached to you as you are to her. Exactly! Now back off! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about me. Plus, as I try to come up with a good comeback. Why did you join the club then? Oh. Because Monica asked me to and I promised her I would. That's why I joined! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sayori asked me to and I promised her I would! <laughs> and I never break a promise. What? Now you have nothing to say? Well, I mean, you have no interest in literature. <laughs> so you're just like me. So, to be fair, I don't think you even have a reason to be here either. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you're actually so fake, Zero. Says you, Mr. Waluigi looking ass. <laughs> Get your pants tucked in. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I know that poem you read at the festival wasn't even your own. I've heard it before. How do you know that? No, 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 no. He, I'm pretty sure he does have an interest in literature. Pretty sure he came here because he 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 asked someone about it. No, no, like, no, no, no. How he does he know? was interested in literature. No, no, how does he know? You, you, you didn't hear it before. That's a very big coincidence. No, no, no. I'm having doubts about this. This man's more than what he appears to be. <laughs> I am calling it now. I'm calling it now, damn it. All Who right. is this guy? Exactly. The episode one title. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Whose man's is this? <laughs> is this really happening right now? It feels so much like a bad dream. I wish it was a bad dream. Look, if you're not gonna pursue Natsuki, then maybe I will. You back the fuck off! <laughs> yeah. So, I'm about to beat the shit out of this man. You don't seem like her type anyway. Says you! <laughs> oh my god, you're so mean. Neither do you. I can be whatever I want to be. Yeah, see that that no, 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 no. That, that that's giving me, that's giving me. There's something going on here. That's giving me some weird vibes. He's way more than what he appears. Wallace's face twists into a wicked smile. See, and I can be whatever Natsuki needs me to be. I promise. I grab Wallace by the shoulders. I'll have to beat some ass. <laughs> Stay away from Natsuki. Say it a little too loud, and the rest of the club turns to look at us. Is uh -oh. everything okay here? Lawless? Zero? Everything's fine. I take my hands off Wallace's shoulders, turn them to my sides. Wallace glares at me before speaking. Yes, everything's fine. Alright then. <laughs> Monica looks between me and Wallace, and will tell her things aren't fine. <laughs> How about we share with someone else? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Better back the fuck off! <laughs> Well, everyone, we're almost out of time. I hope you all have enough time to share your poem with everyone. I'm a bit nervous about timing now that we have more members, but I hope it worked out. As always, thanks for coming, and please write another poem for tomorrow's meeting. 
Time to get a pack of my things when Monica pipes up. Oh, sorry I forgot, but Zero and Wallace, can you guys stay back for a second? Ah, oh, shit, now I'm in trouble! Uh, now we're in trouble! <laughs> See what you did, Wallace? Now we're in trouble! <laughs> now the teacher has to make us stay back! <laughs> okay. I wonder what this could be about. My fight with Wallace? I hope not. The last thing I need on my plate is to piss, Mo piss off Monica, too. I motion to Sayori that she shouldn't wait for me as she leaves the club room along with the other girls. I was just about to mention that. I was like, what about Sayori? <laughs> <laughs> so about the little outburst today Don't worry Monica It really wasn't a big deal You don't need to make up excuses I already know what's going on You do? A little bit of competition is healthy But let's not try to get in the way of the club, okay? Of course That means you too, Zero Yeah Well, you two can go home now I'll see you both tomorrow on the way home, I think, to think about all the drama that went down today. She doesn't know. <laughs> this whole situation just keeps on getting more complicated. I'm starting to worry about my chances with Natsuki. She chose to spend time with Wallace instead of me today. Either way, it can't hurt to write another good poem. So that's what I'm going to do. You're right. We're going to show this guy who's boss. Let's go. About to make the best poem there is. Kawaii. <laughs> How long has it been? 21 minutes. 21? Yes. 21. Well, that was that was a very short day. It was. Because they straight, like, straight to, straight to poems. Because there was nothing we could do. We couldn't hang out with Natsuki today. Oh, I guess so. Which was big sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I'm trying to get Natsuki on the ribbon. No! Fuck it. Kiss. There we go. Doki, doki. Save. That's you. Skirt. No, what? Cinnamon bun, fluffy, fluffy. Festival? It's probably just Monica. Uh, twirl. Puppy. Yonder Uh. <laughs> bl no, blue Sayori. Wow. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> playground. <laughs> <sighs> Boop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the next day. I'm standing outside my house waiting for Sayori, but she's late as usual. Ten more minutes pass. I'm going to be late if she doesn't hurry up. I try calling her phone, but she doesn't pick up. Dang it, Sayori. I'm going to have to wake her up again. Wait. <laughs> uh, uh. Is this like another fake out or like. Are you serious? Oh, no, Zero. I don't expect an answer. She's not picking up her phone either. Like before, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. The same feeling of fear I had last time returned the strongest feeling of deja vu I've had in my life. Waking her up in her own house. I'm practically more of a boyfriend at this point, but I don't care. In any case, it just feels right. That's why I see this room and knock on her door. Sayori! Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this ever again. It doesn't get any easier the second time. <sighs> but I have to. I gently open the door. Uh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, what? Uh, wait, hang on, huh? Ha don't say hang on, what? <laughs> 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 Excuse me? I didn't what did to say that. What? Wait, why did she do what? Uh, wait, it might be. Uh, I'm so confused. A dream. Wait, I don't remember this happening. Wait. What the hell? What the hell? It, I, it might be a dream. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siri wouldn't do this. <laughs> I said, hang on, I'm so sorry! You're mean! I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to do it, I swear. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just a few days it, ago. Is this real? I told Siri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. She was even enjoying the festival. I was making progress! Then why? <gasps> Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? 
Oh. <laughs> okay, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> I jolt awake, sun streaming in through my window. I wipe away the drool trickling down the side of my face. I realize that my phone is laying in the bed next to me with the headphones still connected. I must have fallen asleep while watching anime last night. I breathe a sigh of relief. It was all just a nightmare. I think. I hope. I fall back in my bed and look at the ceiling. I guess it's going to be another day of sleeping in class at school. I get up and start getting ready for school. That's an oof. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Zero. Ready for another fun day? Yeah, I think I wrote a really good poem last night. That's great. I'm excited to read it. I'm excited to read yours, too. Monica smiles warmly at me. Okay, we're going to start the meeting now. Yuri, Noski, and Wallace will all walk over to join us. We're starting to be late today, so I think we should jump right into... Sarah cuts off Monica, leaning over and whispering something to her. The thing you said earlier? She leans in back as Monica's face lights up. Oh, right! We have time for that! Since things have calmed down a bit since the festival, I thought it would be nice to spice things up a little. So I got the idea that we could all write joint poems with another club member. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I can only see this going one way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be hella pissed if it goes this way. <laughs> Sorry, looks at me and smiles a little. I swear to God, Wallace is gonna be with Natsuki, isn't, isn't he? Well, Sarah, I thought it was a great idea, and since Wallace joined, we now have enough people to split equally into pairs. As our newest member, Wallace, how about you choose who you like to write your with, poem with first? Oh my fucking god. He's gonna say fucking Natsuki. Um. No. Can we do it together, Monica? Oh, huh? What? Uh, no, you should choose another one of the club members. What? what? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? We already know each other well enough, don't we? She's mad! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about Natsuki? <laughs> Wait. <gasps> oh! What? I get it. What's your discovery? I get it. His poem, he was being <laughs> ignored. It was Monica. He's oh, being ignored wait, huh? by Monica. Oh. Oh. He wants to be with Monica. That's why he asked her, Hey, Monica, could we do it together? And then she was like, Uh, no. You should choose another one of the members. We already know each other, don't we? And she had a mad face on her, too. And then he said, like, yeah, like he was disappointed. And then she suggested... <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, wait. Is she fucking... She, she's planning with Wallace for Wallace to take Natsuki so that I could be with her. <laughs> That's what it is. Because she suggested Natsuki. I'm on to you. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> An interesting theory. I swear to God, if that ends up happening, <laughs> your boy called her. <laughs> Natsuki, would you like to write a poem with me? I guess. Also, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki crosses her arms, glancing at me before turning away. She doesn't even want to, see? Monica's doing this. Natsuki doesn't want to be a part of this. Monica's like forcing Wallace onto her. <laughs> and Wallace wants to be with Monica. But Monica wants to be with me. And Natsuki's I don't want to be with Monica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like 90% sure that's what's happening. Did you hear what I said? What'd you say? I said Natsuki's sprite looks bigger than everyone else's. It does. <laughs> as long as Zero's okay with it. I'm not! <laughs> Object! Fuck you. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? <laughs> so badly, but I decided not to. I hate you. I hate Wallace and Monica, because I feel like she's a part of this. She, and if she isn't, then she suggested <laughs> being with Natsuki, so I still hate her for that. I want to object so badly, but I decided not to. Wallace can't possibly take Natsuki away from me. Right? Okay, Zero. How about you choose next? Who would you like to write a poem with? <sighs> Monica. <laughs> I mean... 
Monica. <laughs> Monica's my second favorite. But Sayori really wanted to talk about this assignment. I think Sayori wants to write it with me. Oh, uh, okay. Plus, I'm not a big fan of Monica right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you I swear to God! <laughs> so, Monica? <laughs> I can't even do Yuri! Oh my god. Monica's, you have to do Monica. the, Monica's the one doing it. They're both doing it. That's how you can tell. Because she won't let you choose anyone else. This is showing me that Monica's in cahoots with them. Hmm. Wait, that's what they were talking about earlier! Where she was like, um. Where he said, am I done now? She was like, no, I still have you to do more. You still need to do some more things. Like, I need to get the history. I don't know exactly. I mean, it's probably way too fucking long. But it's like that thing they said earlier. Yay, yeah. you picked me. And that means, Sayori, <laughs> you'll partner with Yuri. Great, now everyone has a partner. I realize this might take a while, so let's present them next week on Monday. I'm really excited to see what you all come up with. Hey, Natsuki, you want to walk home with me today? No. Hmm. You're just lucky that my dad isn't picking me up today. I just realized you still haven't shared poems. All this talk about joint poems, I forgot the normal ones. <laughs> okay, everyone. You know, you know what time it is. Alright. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that you couldn't pick Sayori or Yuri because I just picked Monica <laughs> when I played. That's some bullshit. That's something's happening. I swear to God. I swear to God, my theory's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know I already apologized once. I'm not going to make this a habit, but... I'm sorry for not spending time with you, Zero. I wanted to write the poem with you, but Wallace got first choice. He's... He's actually kind of nice. No! <laughs> I was just about to say... Ah, see, it's... I was just about to say, ah, I think uh, it's good that Natsuki's apologizing, and then now it's like, no! <laughs> I think you two would get along really well if you spent some, other, spent some time together. No! I am not- I- I said I wanted the Wallace route before, I don't want it anymore. Fuck the Wallace route, no Wallace route! <laughs> That's nice. What about my poem? Oh, right! <clears throat> Is it bad? No. Then what's the problem? Then it's good? <laughs> what? Why is it bad if I write a good poem? Because it's better than mine! <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. It is. Let me see. School days. My teacher asked me to ask me to study. Get up early every morning. Timetable for each day. Plan your things as it says. How neatly I wrote my name. Draw a picture on the front page. I wanted it to remain the same. Never tore a single page. Then as the days go by, started to tear pages from the books. Then said the books are brief bye bye. Dog ears in all my books. Pages used for a million other things. Paper rocks to fly at friends. Wrote the names on their wings. Painted red at the rocket at the rocket ends. Played in water on rainy days, plastic shoes and pink raincoats. Prayed for fever on test days, and water sailed paper boats. Now it's time for the big exams, no more playgrounds and fun days. Back to books to clear exams, once again early rise each day. That was nice, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like our poems have rhythm and beat. <laughs> yeah. I really like this one, Natsuki. It's quite mature. Is that a bad thing? No, maturity's good sometimes. It feels really fresh after reading some of the other more fluffy poems. You're not talking about mine, are you? <laughs> now she's supposed to be a bit fluffy at times. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you better not be. My poems take a lot more time and effort than yours do. <laughs> okay, Natsuki. Hmm. Thanks for sharing. To be fair, she makes a point. I just clicked on words. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. Okay. I mean, if that's what you think, I can't exactly change that. Oh. So he seems to be expecting this kind of reaction from me that I'm apparently not giving. Here, look at mine. Little chalk bones. Skipping, skipping during the night, I play with my friend. Not a care in the world. Just a grind, just a grind, just a gr ground beneath our, my feet. Little chalk bones all over the sidewalk. We try, we, wait, what does it say? We tried for victory? What? We ride for victory. Oh. We ride for victory in our joyous struggle. But I grew older. My skip was not quite so light. Weighed down by too many cares. Too much weariness. 
Too soon, the rain clouds came and washed away my little chalk bones. Oh, she's talking about how us and her rain clouds pushed us away. I'm really impressed, Sayori. You showed a lot of maturity in this one. It's actually kind of similar to Natsuki's in theme. Being able to reflect like this is really good and actually makes for a pretty good poem. I kind of took inspiration from the poem you read at the festival. I hope people have forgot about that already, but apparently not. <laughs> I really like the way you described that progression that comes with age and thought I should add my own spin to it. Yeah, well, it works pretty well. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Same deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice one, Zero. It looks like you've been learning quite a bit from Natsuki. I guess I have. Your style is a lot like hers. It's actually eerily similar. Is that a bad thing? No. You really like her, don't you? Yeah. I don't really see the point in lying to Monica anymore since she seems to know what's going on. That's good for you. This just proves that it's even more that this is her fucking plan. <laughs> Monica turns away. Are you okay? Yeah. How about I show you my poem? Of course. I miss the sea glass. I miss the sea of glass. My vessel glides along. Smells break gently against the prow. Swell, s s shells, shells, shells. <laughs> shells break <laughs> gently against the prow. I surveyed the horizon, marveling at the canvas of the gods. The heavens stretch above me, stained with light. In my wonder, I am blinded. The storm sets upon me. It takes no quarter. It leaves no light. It swallows all. I cry out as the frigid as the frigid tenders of tendrils envelop me. My voice is sucked away. As I am consumed by a gla- by a gla What does that say? What? <laughs> mm, sorry, um... <laughs> Where? I wasn't really looking. This. Oh. Oh, I don't know what that- Gelid. Gelid Mall? <laughs> I guess so. I begin to slip away. This is the end. I awake, and your arm encircles me. I feel your reassuring weight against me. I see your visage, tranquil, bathed in the soft glow of the television. I feel safe in your embrace, for I fear no storm. Bathed in the soft glow of the television. She's talking about us. Wow. I just don't know what to say. It's a really nice love story. I'm just not sure I get where you're coming from in the beginning. <laughs> I can be a bit metaphorical sometimes. I kind of just came up with it on the spot. Oh. Anyway, here's Monica's rank tip of the day. Sometimes the world can seem really depressing, but there's nothing like a poem to cheer you up. A heart doesn't have to be all dreary and sad, it can really be uplifting too. Even if things don't seem to be going your way, writing about it can boost your spirits. That's what I do when I'm nervous about something. <laughs> Write about it. That's my advice for today. Thanks for sharing, JD Zero. You too. Alright, now we go to Yuri. You don't like it, do you? It's just... It still falls short compared to some of your other works. I really like the idea, but the execution lacks... flair. What does that mean? I just think your word choice is a bit... cute. <laughs> oh. Maybe you could take a look at mine and get some inspiration. Alright. Mmm, yes, yes, quite, indeed. Mmm, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Truly peculiar, yes, 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 quite. Mmm, mmm, yes. Yes, 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 indeed, indeed. Mm, uh. You're not reading it. I, I am reading it. Mm, on a dragon from within. Mm, yes, yes, uh, dragons, mm, indeed. Yes. So you can read it? Why don't you read your poems? You can read it. Mm, no, I am reading it, mm, yes. <laughs> well, then read it out loud. What's it mm, say? I already read it. Everyone heard it, too. <laughs> you just didn't hear it. <laughs> okay, then. Wow, you found that much meaning in your own reflection? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It is quite odd to think about. When I look in a mirror, I see myself looking back at me. But am I staring at them, or are they staring at me? How do we know which one of us is really real? Which side of the mirror is reality? What if I'm just a reflection and she's real? And she's looking at me because I'm the reflection. That's pretty deep. <laughs> <laughs> what even defines reality? I'm sorry, I probably sound crazy. No, you don't. 
To be honest, I don't think I've ever had thoughts as half as deep as that. <laughs> Same. All I know is it makes for good poetry. <laughs> uh, thanks, Zero. Thanks for sharing. You too. She may be Here my we least, go. She may be my least favorite, but you know what? We gotta show Yuri's a little bit of respect. Unlike this guy, <laughs> he gets no respect. <laughs> I brace myself for scathing criticism from Wallace. Yep, nope. What? <laughs> I don't like it. Well, I didn't expect you to anyway. Okay, cool. What, no comment? Nope. What's up with him? It's almost worse when he has nothing to say. Alright, well, thanks for sharing. You didn't show me your poem yet, Wallace. I don't think we should share today. <laughs> what? You're telling me after you've already read mine? What is going on with this guy? I'm really starting to get fed up with his antics. I see that he's holding a piece of paper in his left hand, which I can only assume is his poem. Let me see it, Wallace. I extend my hand. No! Wallace backs up slowly. Why don't you show me your fucking poem? <laughs> this is called sharing! What should I do? Grab for the poem or let it be? Uh... Let it be, I would assume. Because then you can just tell Monica about it, and she'll be like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, if you give a fuck about your poem. I mean, I don't know. His poem might reveal some things. I kind of, I'm curious if my, you know, grab for it. Fuck it. Give me that. I want to show it's Wallace. Reach him where I'm trying to grab his poem. Feel the paper in my grass and pull it towards me. Re oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you should load before, before now something you've done, bad happens. Zero. I look down and realize they're holding, holding half the piece of paper. Wallace. I'm so sorry. Wallace doesn't even look at me, he turns and walks away. Yeah, fuck you. Fine. Time I won't. To load. <laughs> Let it be. Fine, whatever. We stand there awkwardly for a second. You know what? Here. Wallace extends his poem towards me. Oh! Read it. Oh, okay. So he lets us read it anyway. The world is not. Light or black, hot or cold. Alive or dead. Happy or sad, wealth or poverty, love or hate. The world is gray, the world is lukewarm. The world is something else. The world is okay, the world is well off. The world is... Uh, abrevlant? Abrevlant. Abrevlant? Um... 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 Be... Um... Ambivalent. Ambivalent, yeah. My world is not. My world is absent. Light is the absence of black. Cold is the absence of hot. Death is the absence of life. Sadness is the absence of absence of happiness. Poverty is the absence of wealth. Hate is the absence of love. Your world is absent because you don't have Monica! <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? I... I want to say something bad about it, but it was a good poem. To be honest, it was a good poem, but it doesn't mean he has to be an asshole about it! <laughs> it wasn't the best I've read. Okay. I'll just brush this off my comment. Thanks for sharing. You too. I don't like them. <laughs> okay, everyone. I hope everyone had enough time to share. I really enjoyed seeing all your poems today. As usual, write another poem here tomorrow, and also don't forget to work on your joint poems. I'll try to have some t have some time for us to work on the next meeting, but I can't promise anything. I'll see you all tomorrow. Zero, can you stay behind for a second? What? Yuri? What the hell you want? Uh, sure? I don't know what this is about. Yuri waits patiently as the others pack up their things. As she's placing a fold into her bag, Monica keeps glancing over at me and Yuri. Are you sure you're fine with me leaving you two alone, Zero? Of course. Okay. Monica's acting very weird about this whole situation. What the fuck is happening? Despite my answer, she still seems to be lingering around longer than usual. Are you going to leave or not, Monica? Yuri looks like she's starting to get angry. Monica! Natsuki, Wallace, Sayori, let's just go. Oh! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Uh, I don't feel safe anymore! <laughs> Yuri follows them to the door. Hey, Zero. Yuri's really something, isn't she? No, that's what you said when she- Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what triggered this?! <laughs> Here we go! You didn't even <laughs> like my poems! <laughs> Finally... Finally! 
This is really all I wanted. Zero, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, <laughs> with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? <laughs> but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Zero. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care who's listening. Please, Zero, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I'll be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Zero. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? HELL NO! Stabby stabby? Uh -huh. Maybe? I don't uh -huh. remember. I don't actually remember. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. The answer is yes. Is yes. <laughs> there it goes. So now the real stabby, question stabby. is, is this a dream? When did I go to sleep? It's real. What the totally. hell? <laughs> well, this is different. What the hell? Why would she do this? I didn't do anything! <laughs> I couldn't yeah. do anything! <laughs> not again. <laughs> I'm not losing another friend. I can't lose another friend. I wake up with a start. The <laughs> deserted except for Monica, who's packing up her stuff. Oh, Zero, you're awake! Sorry, must have dozed off if you finished sharing my poem. What the hell? How did I go to sleep? Stay up late watching anime again? Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just try to get some more sleep tonight, okay? Got it. I'll see you tomorrow then, I guess. Yeah, and then again this weekend so we can finish our poem. Don't forget. Right. Bye. Monica leaves the classroom, the door swinging shut behind her. I'm having all these bad dreams. It makes it seem like something horrible is going to happen. I really hope nothing horrible happens. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I still can't shake this feeling. Guess there's no way to know until tomorrow. Excuse me? <laughs> I didn't even notice until, until uh, you said wait, it. Wait! Like... Oh! Um! Wait! Her character file's gone too. Um. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Natsuki... Monica time. <laughs> Natsuki, no. <laughs> time for Monica. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna make the poem, and then we're gonna stop the episode. <laughs> okay. I don't even- Monica! She wants me to make one for her, though. This is all part of her plan. I won't- I won't be swayed into her plan! <laughs> Sayori, I'll make a poem for you! you I go. went with the Monica route when I played this. Nah, fuck this. I'm making a poem for Sayori. Oh, well. Hey. Mo it's all- I'm not letting Monica get what she wants! Here, Sayori, you get a poem. Okay. You mean okay? I swear to God, she's part of this. <laughs> part of what? This, this is plan. a wholesome mod zero. It is not. <laughs> Natsuki <laughs> is gone. <laughs> this is a wholesome mod. This episode, we literally have both Sayori and Yuri commit suicide. <laughs> wholesome it's mod. Fine. It's wholesome. <laughs> I'm accidentally getting Yuri. <laughs> Hold up. Why is Heart here twice? <laughs> <laughs> this what heart. the fuck? Sc 
skirts Natsuki's. Or not? <laughs> Monica's, apparently. Oh, did it, did it take out Natsuki's word? That's the point there was 200. It did. Because it rolled it twice. It took out her words, because her words have not been showing up as I've been doing this. Cinnamon blood. Bobbled. <laughs> I'm making Sayori words because I am not going to give Monica her fucking satisfaction. Why was Monica sleep? I don't know. Damn it! No, I'm getting Monica stuff. Stop. Uh, uh, creative. No, stop. Uh, uh. All of these are Monica. <laughs> Misery. There you go. Uh, laugh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Character Natsuki does not exist! Oh, it is it isn't real then. Okay, I'm just making Whoa. sure. Because the, the error code- the, the error- the rempy Reloading errors- script. The fake rempy errors are in identical to the real ones, so it's hard to tell sometimes. A new version of this mod is now available. Would you like to update it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Team Salvato. <laughs> um. Oh. No. Title. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's wholesome, Zero. Don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play the mod, the link is in the description below. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill Wallace. <laughs> Peace.